Welcome to RK Tutorials Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by Astemushanko 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set to 2.5 and problem number 2.79. Find graphically the reactions Ra and Rb induced at the supports A and B of the right angle bar ACB, supported as shown in the figure, and supported a vertical load P applied at the midpoint of AC. This problem also uh, needs to solve using graphically. Hence, I will try to solve this problem graphically first. Same problem I will try to solve using our regular analytical method. Various forces acting on this right angled bar ACB are now there is a reaction force perpendicular to this surface. That means it is a horizontal force. I know that the direction is horizontal but the magnitude is not known. There is a force P, magnitude is P and it is acting vertically, both magnitude and direction, everything is known. This Ra, neither magnitude nor direction, both are unknown. There are only three forces, R, B, P and Ra. If any body is subjected to three forces and it is to be under equilibrium, all three forces must concurrent, all three forces must meet at the same point. Now, first I am extending this line of action and I am extending the line of action of P. These two are intersecting at this point. The third force, that is the reaction at A, must pass through this point and this point. Hence, I can find the direction of the reaction at A. This is the direction of the reaction at A. Let this angle is theta. Initially, we will assume this angle is theta. Now, I am constructing the triangle now. Now, here I am drawing an arbitrary value, arbitrary length, because P value is P, but P is not a numerical value. So, I cannot convert into a scale. So, some arbitrary length I will consider. Next, uh, I need to draw these two forces. One force from the one end of the uh, force P, this force is other end of the force P, so that it forms a triangle. So first I am drawing a line parallel to this from this end and I will draw a line parallel to this passing through this end. So this forms an another right angle triangle. So these two lines are parallel, that means this angle is also equal, angle is also equal to theta. Now by considering this right angle triangle, I can find the value of theta. What? How can I find that uh, theta value? Tan theta is equal to the opposite side that is 0.915 by adjacent side 0.661. Hence, I can find the value 56.31. So, this value is 56.31. So, this side is RB now. This side is RA. Now, to complete the triangle, RA must, be, must act in this direction and RB must act in this direction. Now, by using this right angle triangle, and I, I, know, I also know the value of theta, hence I can say tan theta is equal to P by RB, and theta is equal to 56.31. So, RB is equal to P divided by tan 56.31, or RB is equal to 0.67P. Similarly, I can take sin theta, sin theta is equal to P by RA, Theta is equal to 56.31. Hence, I can find Ra is equal to 1.2p. These two are the answers. I can also solve the same problem using your regular analytical method. Now, let us see what are the various forces. Already the forces are drawn. Now, Rb is a force acting horizontally and P is the force. And here, it is a hinged support. We will introduce two reactions, Rah and Rab. So, first, Equilibrium equation sigma Fx is equal to 0, Rav must be equals to Rb. Equation number 1, sigma Fy is equal to 0, P must be equals to Rah. This is equation number 2. Now let us take the moments about point A. Rah and Rav both are passing through the point A will not introduce any moment. So P will introduce a moment in the counterclockwise direction and Rb will introduce a moment in the clockwise direction. Next, coming to the distances, the line of action of P 
is at a distance of 0.61 perpendicular distance and the line of action of RB is at a distance of 0.915. So you know the distances and you know the directions. Hence, I can apply the moments about point A equals to 0. Then I can write P into 0.61 is equal to RB into 0.915. Hence, I can find the value of Rb, Rb is equal to 0.67p. And from equation 1, from equation 1, Rav is also equals to 0.67p. So, Rav is, so this is the Rav is equal to 0.67p and Rb is equal to 0.6. So, Rb is equal to 0.67p. So, this is one answer. And RAV is also equals to 0.67P and RAH is equal to P. Hence, I can find RA root of RAH square plus RAV square and you will get RA is equal to 1.2P. These two are the answers for this problem using analytical method.